up to everybody real quick i need you all to do me a huge favor today okay i need you all to choose to plant the right seeds all right it's very important in life that you choose i'm talking to you choose to plant the right seeds let me scoot a little bit closer man let me scoot all the way up all right here we go hey man you gotta choose i got that front row seed now nah. you gotta choose to plant the right seeds in this world man all right see your mind is a garden your mind is a garden and you're in charge of what you plant now you may say man my mind is all messed up man i'm all over the place all this stuff going on i'm feeling depressed i'm feeling this you haven't been taking care of your garden you ain't pulled out the rake you ain't choose to plant uh the right thoughts right you've been entertaining all this negativity and this gossip and th and all that stuff is consuming you now all these weeds in your garden and you looking around like dang how did this happen where did this come from how come how come i don't feel like a vessel for god how come i don't have the joy of the lord how come i don't feel like helping anyone or talking to anyone or or giving or, or sowing or, or any of that it's because you haven't been taking care of your garden man all right so what I want you all to understand is the fact that you have a garden. See, over there, that's a big, huge, empty field with nothing but dirt. Now, I can sit back and I can hope that a flower grows out there. I can sit here for 10 years and look at that spot. I can have a hope that a flower might grow, but guess what? It's probably not. Why? I ain't never go plant no seed, man. All right? But the minute I open this car door up, let me open this car door up so y'all can see what I'm saying. The minute I open this car door up and go out there, dig a hole and plant that seed, I ain't got to look at the dirt no more. I can go on about my business. I can go play over there. I can go buy a jump rope from a store and jump rope over there. Have fun. It don't, it don't matter. I don't need to think about that no more because guess what? I already know a flower is coming. Why? Because I took the time to plant a seed, right? So spiritually and physically, I want you to really understand this. In the garden of your mind, I need you to take the time early in the morning to plant the right things, all right? You got you to gotta tend your garden. Nobody's going to take care of your garden but you. And nobody's going to tell you about your garden. Ch listen, chances are, if your garden is all messed up, it's because you allow people to dump all their negativity, all their drama. Like, you're, you're, you're being a trash can for other people. You see what I'm saying? You, you can be a garbage dump for other people. You know, you, got, you have to learn how to control your garden all right that's just real how does your garden look man i'm gonna be honest with you all my, my my garden looking good today you know what i mean if my garden is not looking good i look at it from a helicopter view i say hold up what went wrong because see you, you you know what there's no such thing as a bad day only a bad moment Many people say, oh, man, I had a bad day, had a bad day. If you really be honest enough and you really trace it back, you'll see it's probably one thing that happened to you early in the day. And you choose to focus on that one thing all throughout the day. And guess what? Now your perspective of the rest of the day was off. So everything looked negative. But in reality, if that one thing, that one huge thing in the morning would have never happened, you would have viewed those other things differently. No such thing as a bad day, only a bad moment. All right? So I really want you to analyze your garden right now. You watching this video, are you proud of how your garden looks? Honestly, I'm proud of how my garden looks. I just came out of the store a few minutes ago, and I had a conversation with this young man outside. And man, God was able to use me in that. And I'm going to be honest. If my garden wasn't clean, if I had weeds all everywhere, if I'm carrying the load of unnecessary stuff, my head's not going to be up looking, looking around to be a vessel for God. I'm going to be just drowning in my own thoughts. 
I'm gonna be just walking around talking about it is what it is, man. That's just life. See, no, listen, as kingdom citizens, we on a different type of time out here. You better control your garden so that you can be the proper vessel for God out here because there will be a day when you have to stand face to face with the Lord and give an account. God not going to ask you about X, Y, and Z or, 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 you know, or, you know, God, you know, God having a conversation with you and you talking about, well, let me tell you what, what, what little Robbie did. Little Robbie made me do it. God ain't ask you about, about little Robbie. I don't even know who that is, but he ain't, God ain't, God ain't worried about little Robbie. God worried about you because see, you should know better. Don't allow this negativity to rub off on you. You got to tend your garden every day when you wake up. Hey, listen, you got a fresh garden. And if your garden's all messed up, look through your text thread, man. Look at them last 10 people you talk to. It's probably negativity. It's probably gossip. Look at your last 10 phone calls. You, you don't want to be a trash can. People dump all that negativity on you. Somebody at your school, I know it's younger people on the channel, somebody at your middle school or high school had a fight during lunch break. You the person they about to call. Why? Because you want to hear all about it. Yeah, man, he got punched in his nose, man. He couldn't breathe through his left, left nostril. He was walking around like this. You know, and then he lost his shoe in the fight. He lost a Jordan. You over there like, oh, who got the Jordan? Man, stop worrying about the Jordan. See what I'm saying? You you allowed all that in your in, in your garden. Now, after that phone conversation, you're an advocate for the fight. You show up to school the next day. Hey, you heard JJ had a fight? Man, I heard he punched somebody so hard, he lost both shoes. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now you spreading all this all around. And then you sitting there in the middle of your class like, why am I just feeling angry or just agitated? Or why am I feeling like I want to fight somebody? Next thing you know, you don't mess around there and punch somebody. Because all you talking about is fighting. You don't understand. You, you've let that in your spirit. See what I'm saying? When, when you get a call like that, when you sense negativity coming, man, listen, sometimes you, you got to, hey, man, not today. Why? Because I want to be used by God, man. Now, if somebody calling to encourage me, man, look, come on now. Call, you calling to encourage me? You calling to bring me negativity? If you calling to bring me down, I ain't picking up the phone. You know what I'm saying? If you call in to encourage me, if you call in to add some value, if you call in to speak some life into me, if you call in to encourage my spirit, hey, you know, I'm picking that fire. Hey, what's up? What'd it do? All right? Because you know what? I'm going to make sure that, I'm going to make sure that this garden is right so that I'm cleansed, I'm clear, so I'm hearing from God, so I'm not tangled all up in what you got going on, or, or the drama you're throwing my way, or how you think about me, or how you feel about me, or this, or that, or what the people are saying on the news. People talking about, hey, Trump, Biden, this, that, man, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> See what I'm saying? My hope is not in the man, all right? It's all right to vote and all that. I get, yeah, I voted, right? But at the end of the day, my hope is not in a man. So I'm not even entangled in those conversations. I'm on a, I'm on a different type of time. See, man, listen, we in this world, not of this world. See, this just an earth suit right here I got on. I'm a spirit. I'm just in an earth suit inside of a trunk with a cap on with this. I don't know what this thing is on my neck. I'm just in an earth suit, man. I'm a kingdom citizen, man. I'm like a little alien around here. And you're an alien too for the Lord. So you got to start acting like it, man. Choose to plant the right seeds. Keep your garden clean. Find you some friends that speak life into you. Find you some friends whenever they call you excited to answer the phone. Because they're going to oh, oh, awaken something inside of you. They're going to speak life into you. If you're a guy and you're married, find another guy whose marriage that you admire. You know what I'm saying? 
find somebody you can learn from. If you're a kid and you play basketball, guess what? Find somebody who like to play basketball, who when they call you, they gonna say, hey man, you, you did your push-ups? All right, cool, you, 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 wanna, you wanna play one-on-one -on -one tomorrow? You wanna get better? You need a power rate? I got an extra one in my book sack. Hey man, what you doing on lunch break at school? You wanna go to the gym and shoot some shots? Cause I already talked to coach. Coach said I could come in there and shoot. You want to come shoot with me? Cool. I'm going to let coach know you coming to. Like, man, get around those people, man. I guarantee you, you won't be sitting around here depressed and all this. You got a 10-year garden. All right? I, I'm just trying to be a vessel for the Lord to help you out. Because I'm not anybody. I'm, I, I'm a regular person. I'm just a dude with his seat scooted all the way up, looking crazy in the parking lot. All right? Let me scoot back a little bit, though. You do got me out here looking crazy. Hold on. Let me... Let me scoot this thing back a little bit, man. You got me out here looking crazy. Hey, man. Thank you for watching another video. Listen, man, hit that subscribe button, man. You got one or two options. Either hit the subscribe button with your thumb or hit that thing with your nose, man. It really don't matter. All right? I would prefer you hit the subscribe button with your nose, but, he, but if you got to use your thumb, I understand, man. You got to tend your garden, man. I'm just saying, you got you got to take care of your garden. God loves you, and God wants you with a clean garden, right? The Bible says, "Created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me." See, that's 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 what David prayed. Created me a clean heart, like David wanted a fresh start. David tired of all, all this silly stuff going on and all these people and man listen you got to get one-on-one -on -one, you and god lord created me a clean heart renew a right spirit within me restore the joy of my salvation in other words lord i want a fresh start i'm choosing you and guess what you got a fresh guard now what you gonna do with it yeah you got a clean garden you know what i mean what you gonna plant Plant the right things. Say the right word. Tell somebody you love them. Call them. Hey, 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 man. Call a relative, whoever you got. Hey, I just want to say I love you, man. Have a great day. You know, plant the right seeds. And stop with all the negative seeds because that's going to bring the weeds back in your garden. Love you all so much. Hit the thumbs up. Drop a comment. See you in the very next video. Subscribe to the channel.